Well, good morning. Today is the day. We are weaning all of our calves and shipping all of our steers and the heifers that uh, we don't plan on keeping. Like the last couple times we've done this, they follow the wagon and hopefully right into the pens. This time some of the cows decided to stay out. Other than that, it worked perfect. Now to sort the cows out, leave the calves. second load going in and if all goes well made the call in to Tara at the auction mart and she's got room for everything today so I got all the info for you How are you guys doing today? Good, dude. I don't know. It's not quite as warm as it was. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's go. Hey. Let's go. Hey. Yeah, see if Tara's in there. Hey. 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 Come on, let's go, girls. Hey. Hey. Come on. There should be 15 in this one. And then I've got, I think, 24 in the next one. Let's go girls, come on, come on. All right, 15, perfect, I got 24 in the next one. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay, we got the first loads away. And we got, oh, what do we have left here? Just about 40 left, 38. So we gotta sort these, uh, bring these ones in, make sure they all got tags and load them up.
All right, we got our last 15 calves to go out. And then everybody's weaned, and all of our calves from last year will be gone. Let's do this in two groups. Let's put this in half feeder. Make it easy, grab that one. Come on, let's go, yep. Come on. Keep going, hip, let's go, yep, yep, yep. Come on, yep, yep. Push on him, let's go, come on, yep, yep. Let's go, come on, yep, yep. Stick behind this guy and go up there. We can even go all oh, the, the tighter. Oh, it doesn't matter. That might be too tight. Heather's got the. Oh, I got another one. Let's go, come on. Yep, move up, move up, move up, move up, move up. Move up. Oh, Peter. Yep, yep, let's go. Hey! Come on, let's go. Move it up. There we go. Now we're good. 47. 126. 134. 110. Okay, load them up. Ready? Let's go, yep. There you go, okay, let's go. Let's go, come on, yep, 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 yep. Come on. In you go, let's go, let's go. Yep. Come on. Yep. All the way. Let's go. Hey, yep. Yep, let's go. There you go. Got it. That's it. All done. Okay, boys and girls. Home we go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, no, you're doing just fine. Hey. Is traffic slowing down? Hey. So we're getting 
a sneak peek today. Holly's actually going to be taking us through a walkthrough. Holly's this young lady right here. These are my students. And so what we're going to do is we're going to walk through. She's going to show us where they go. No, they're here. This is load. I believe this is load four. Holly, was this all just the one load? There's like 20, 23 So do you, do you put them all in the same in the same pan like all of mine? Yeah. Okay. Kind of assumed that, but I've yeah. never been in here before, so I have no idea. And then once we have all of yours, we'll sort heifers from steers. You'll sort the heifers from the steers? Yeah. And then do you size them at all or not? Yeah, they usually do that in the morning though, just because there's not a whole lot of extra pen space in yep, here. Yep, I can believe that. are gonna get loud they're looking for their calves and as we are all done with sorting and all that fun stuff I need to take down all these panels so I can start getting set up at home because we're hoping the plan is that in roughly a month in a bit it's around six weeks we'll walk the cows uh, we'll walk all these cows home cleaned up out at the where the cows are and I'm just bringing the squeeze back to the shop we're gonna put it in the heated shop overnight so that the manure can unthaw and then we can pressure wash it and get it cleaned up it's always nice to get that manure off there as soon as possible Daryl's on his way back with the trailer and we're gonna put it in here and we need to get the trailer all cleaned up too so I got a, I got one panel I gotta bring in here to do some welding on. It was, this panel was supposed to go around the drinker where the 4-H animals are. And my, uh, the legs on it need to be a little bit further apart 
to go over this spin pad. So. So this leg we need to move over to about here. Yeah, about here. To get around the cement pad. So we'll cut that off, move it over, and we'll go put it in place. Hey, this part goes right over top of the drinker. It helps with the uh, tab. We have split pens up from that side to this side. It's a nice way to have uh, something protecting the drinker a bit. So this should work. I barely did it wide enough. I had to miss the cement pad. Still could move over a little bit. Next is we got to get this for each, this pen. This is for the 4-H animals. Hope to get that ready uh, tomorrow or in the next day or two. So, yep, split them up. Hope you enjoyed the video. Calves are all gone, and uh, yeah, another good day. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.